think I've kind of decided on the headstock shape. It's sort of a modified uh, Music Man with the four on one side and two on the other, just to be a little different. Starting to work on the neck and the frets. Um, I did the fret ends already. Um, rounded them over, got them so they're not so sharp. They feel pretty nice now. They were pretty bad to begin with. Um, I got this cheap set of needle files from Harbor Freight for like four bucks. And I don't know if you can see, but there is one edge that doesn't have cutting surface on which is kind of nice so you can use that for rounding over the fret ends so that's a good dressing file uh, and I was hoping it'd be straight enough to not need a full level job but I have my homemade fret leveling or level B notched beam that I made from a ruler and leveled it, but then there's there's quite a few high frets here, so I'm just gonna have to level the whole thing, and I marked them all with a sharpie. And I'll use a I got a block of wood here uh, somewhere that's uh, somewhere I got a big long block of wood with a piece of sandpaper glued to it. Here it is. So it's a nice super flat piece that I had, and then I just use that and I'll sand them all down. There's a million videos of this on YouTube, so I probably explain it better than I do, but basically you sand down with a flat surface until all of your frets have been uh, at least touched by the sandpaper and I got one here that must be really low because this one's getting really flat on top and this one hasn't been touched at all so there must have been a huge height difference between these two yeah this one was really high so you just keep going until they've all been at least kissed by the sandpaper this one specifically is really needing a lot I'm not sure how critical this step is, but I saw somebody do it on one of the guitar build YouTube channels. Basically, you tape off above the 15th fret, and just do a little bit of sanding on these last frets. And what that does is it, since you're not sanding these, since they're taped off, you're, you're giving a little bit of a relief at the end of the fretboard which should, in theory, allow a slightly lower action. 
because it feels like less chance of buzzing on these upper, upper frets. So I don't really, really know how much to take off here, so I'm just, just winging it. Now for the most tedious and mind-numbing part of any guitar build. I have to recrown all these frets since now they're flat on top. Because I sanded them all down to get them level. Um, so, yeah, I gotta re recrown them. And one of these days I will buy an actual fret crowning file. But they're like $100, so I'm making do with just a standard file. I'm doing it the hard way for now. After recrowning all of these frets, I taped it all off and then sanded them, starting with 220, then 320, 400, 600, 800, 1000, 2000, and then a final polish with my Dremel tool on the polishing bit. And now they are just like mirrors. That should make for some nice smooth bends. <laughs> to do because uh, this pickguard came loaded with some ceramic pickups and this one I measured at 13.7 K and I just added this chrome guard on there but it didn't really line up with these pull pieces since there's no screw heads on them they're just flat anyways I found a, a cheap Alnico uh, chrome covered one that I assume is wax potted and stuff. And this one I measured at uh, 16 K, so this is a little bit hotter. So that should sound pretty good, hopefully. It was pretty cheap on eBay. 
so I'm not expecting it to sound like a Duncan or something like that, but it should be probably on par at least, or maybe a little better than the one that came with this loaded A Moon brand strap pickguard. favorite part oh look at that she's a beauty let's just take all the plastic off noise everything is now mostly assembled I just tested her out on the amp. Everything else, all the wiring is correct. Just have to attach the neck, and I suppose I still got to drill the holes for the screws for the tuners. Install the nut, and I'll be ready for strings. All ready for strings. All my other guitars have tens on them, so I'm gonna try nines on this build. Especially since it's the uh, Fender scale, 25 and a half inch, which needs a little bit more string tension. And I'm used to the 24 and 3 quarter inch Gibson scale. Uh, so the 24 and 3 quarter with 10s is pretty good for me. But I think uh, the longer scale, the lighter strings might make it easier for bending and stuff. All set to go make some noise. A little bit of buzzing. Might work on that later, or not. Tiny bit of buzzing doesn't bother me too much. I'm not a smart man. Because I just installed the strap button on the wrong freaking side of the guitar. Dang it. 2020. Go figure. Alright, now that I got that fixed, put my new swanky checkered flag strap on there. That's what the headlights that stock looks like. So I'd say it turned out pretty good overall. Like I said, I really like the matte finish. Feels nice and smooth. Feels good in the hand. Pickup's decent. It could probably be a little better. It was only a fairly cheap one off eBay. Uh, I think I don't think I showed before the uh, little inlay I did on the headstock. You can see it's actually a, I actually used a piece of a pick, or I cut a pick up in that shape, and then carved out the hole for it and glued it in there.
strat sound too. In case anyone's wondering, this is what's making all the noise, along with uh, that, and that, and that, and sometimes that. <laughs>